hello guys welcome back to with true tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix battle bit remastered is having crashing issue it is not launching freezing and stuttering low fps drop stuck on loading screen and even the black screen issues which is happening for many of the users right now so we're going to talk about some of the possible workarounds can be done when you have this issue so the first one is all about when you're having an issue with a battle bit remastered what you have to do is all you have to do is just have to try with a simple restart on your pc and that's what we have to do so the first one you just need to go over here in the search i mean on the windows over here click on this icon and go for a simple restart sometimes you can fix all the issues with a simple restart so that is why we're recommending you can try with a simple restart both on pc as well as on the laptop try with a simple restart if that is not working we have to move to the next step next step is all about we need to try with verify integrity of game file for that we just need to click over here in the battle bit remastered on this select the game right click over here and go to the properties now from here we need to go over here go to the installed files over here you will be able to find the option verify this game files which are installed correctly so just click on this one so verify integrity of game file is actually a simple fix what this do is this actually cross checking every single files of the game as you can see there are 144 files which is successfully validated which means they cross check every single file and they make sure the files are not corrupted or either it's not going through any kind of issues so that is why it's called it's an important step so you have to try with verify integrity of game file so once you tried with this and you get a message like this that is all 144 files which successfully validated which means you're good to go with this and once after that just click on the play button and try moving to the next step next step is all about most probably most users who are using this game they end up launching the game from the steam sometimes this might be an issue so what we need to do is we just need to do not launch the game from steam instead try launch the game from the installation folder for that we just need to click over here right click and go to properties now from here we just need to go to installed files click on the browse so what happens is this will very easily redirect you to the installation folder if you check at the top you can see that is this pc local disk c program file x86 steam steam apps common battlefield battle bit remastered so from here you just need to click on this application and you have to launch the game so for many users when they tried instead of launching the game from steam when they launched the game from the installation folder it did work out for love for them like a charm so you can try this out as well if that is not working we can do one more step that is all about we can do in the same location that means from the installation folder that is all about we need to run the game as an administrator so for, for many users this did work out so we found this method from the forum itself so what you need to do is just select the application over here right click and go to show more options go to properties now from here go to compatibility now from here click on run this program as an administrator go for apply and go for ok once you're done with this one try launch the game most probably when you run the game as an administrator this has to be worked so if this is not working we have to move to the next step that is all about we need to launch the game in the compatibility mode for that we just need to click over here right click and go to show more options once again go to properties now from here go to compatibility now from here click on run this program in compatibility mode so once you click on this one you have to select the following one that if you're on windows 7 select the first one that is windows 7 and go for apply and go for ok if you're on windows 8 sometimes the windows 7 or windows 8 might work so if you're on windows 7 go for it if you're on windows 8 go for this one and go for apply and go for ok and try launch the game that's going to work for you like a charm so you can try this out so most probably when you try this has to be worked so if still you're having the issue do not worry or do not get panicked because we have few more steps coming up so just move to this one so next one is all about we need to make sure that is what we need to do is we need to make sure the windows language is set into english most of the case some users might be using the windows in any other native language of them for example like japanese chinese arabic germany etc so that might be causing the issue up so i don't know how this is related but this did work it so you just need to make sure that you are on the english language for this just go over here in the search go for settings go to time and language go over here into language and region over here you have to set the english united states and you have to set the language to english united states and click on add a language search for english if it's english it's not been added just search for english add it once and once after this just go back 
just go back and go to date and time this is also an important step because most users end up in having this issue so right now as you can see the time and time zone is automatically turned on but in most cases I, as far as i know in most cases for some use this might be turned off that is causing the issue so it is very important that you have to both make sure that the, both the time and time zone is turned on once you turn this on you just need to close this and go back and see whether the issue is solved or try launch the game Still it's not working, we have to move to the next one. That is all about click on the play button and you have to press Alt and tap from the keyboard. This did work out for many games like Dead Space 2, Star Wars JD and even for many games which I very recently uploaded including Payday 2. So you can try this out, just click on the play button and press Alt and tap together without fail so that the game will be launching without any issue. That did work out for many users so you can try this out as well. Next one is all about, we need to delete the saved game file. For that we just need to go over here in the search click on the file explorer now go to this pc over here you can see you can go to the documents and you will be able to find the folder over here so if you find the folder on the battlefield remaster you just need to delete the folder and keep in mind it will be losing all the games progressions but that is fine just delete it once after you delete it you just need to close this up and go back and try launch the game next one is all about we need to go for allow the game to windows security which is one of an important step for this we just need to minimize this one go over here in the search go for settings over here sorry not settings just go for control panel go for system and security from here go to windows defender firewall now from here go to allow and import feature through windows defender firewall now from here we need to keep scrolling down and find whether the game is already added so as you can see that the battle bit remastered is already added so you have to make sure the private and public is being checked so if it's not checked, we have to check it up. So Battle Bit Remastered is already done with this and you have to make sure this. So imagine the game is not being added. So that just comes into the questions and how to do this. So if that is the case, just click on the change settings over here. Now go to allow another app, go for browse, go to this PC. Now from here, go to local disk C, go to program file x86, keep scrolling down, Steam folder, go to Steam apps once again, click on the common. Now from here go to battle bit remastered over here select the res respective application click on the open go for add so it will be added so once it's already added just click close everything and go back and try launching the game if that's gonna work for you as well if that is not working we have to move to the next step that is all about unplug all the usb devices this is an important step we might be filled our usb ports with many things including joystick even the logitech wheels might be or even multiple monitors or whatever it may be just remove everything from the usb port once after game is successfully launched you if you, had, if you wanted to play the game with the controllers just connect back the controllers and continue the game this is an important step and this did work out for many users so you can try this out as well Moving to the next one is all about we need to perform a clean boot for that we just need to go over here in the search go for system configuration over here go for services go for disable old hide all microsoft services go for apply and go for ok so that's going to ask you for a restart but keep in mind this is an important step so those who are watching this video across the globe you need to go for a restart you should, you should not be go for exit without restart you have to go for restart that's going to do a restart on your pc or laptop then that's going to give you a fresh start launch the game that's going to work for you like a bingo so i'm going to exit without restart because i'm here in the middle of a recording so I'm, I, I don't want to waste the time on this so i'm going to go for exit without restart once after that go back and try launch the game if still it's not working we have a few more steps the first one we need to disable the steam overlay for that just go over here in the game right click over here go to properties now from here make sure this is turned off which means it is disabled that is an important step if it is turned it on turn this off launch the game if that's not working just move to the next step that is we have to give few commands in the launch option the first one is dx11 give the command dx11 try launching the game if dx11 is not working go for dx12 and try launch the game if dx11 as well as dx12 is not working that is what we have to do we need to move to the next step next step is all about we need to close all the overlay applications so for that we just need to go over here in the search go to the task manager over here right click and go to task manager this is an important step as you can see that for me i'm only having three apps is running in the background for this will not be the same for those who are watching this you will be having tons of apps which is running in the background which is already utilizing your performance i mean your ram your uh, 
graphics card, everything will be utilized in the background, which is causing one of the main issue for crashing. So if you find anything over here, many things will be there. So if you find something like Discord, it's an example for overlay application. If you find it, you have to remove it. If you find anything like, for example, let's say, uh, River Tuner, MSI, Afterburn, etc. And if you find all these over here, you have to remove everything from there because these comes under the category of overclocking application. So this is an important thing. So just remove and wander things from here in the task manager, then try launching the game. That's gonna work for you. Or else we have to move to the next step. That is all about, we need to run the game on dedicated graphics card. For that, we just need to go over here in the search, go for graphics settings over here. Now from here, you need to add the game. So like I have already added F123, Amnesia, The Bunker, and any many more games including the Riders Republic. So same way, just click on the browse, go to the installation folder, this is an important step. Go to local disk C, go to program file x86, keep scrolling down and navigate to Steam folder, go to Steam apps over here, go to common. Now from here, go to, uh, over here, you just need to go to this one. That is Battle Bit Remastered. Click on this one and go for add. So as you can see, the game is successfully added. So now just click on the option. Now go for high performance. So this will be by default in the let windows aside. Change this to high performance. Go for save, close this and go back and try launching the game. Next one is all about, we need to increase virtual memory. For that, we just need to go over here in the search. Go for view advanced system setting. Go for advanced, go for settings once again. Advanced, go for change. Make sure this is actually blank and you have selected the local disk where the game is installed. Now go for custom size. Give the value for initial size as well as maximum size. Initial size is 1.5 times the total RAM and the maximum size is 3 times the total RAM. So we need to know what is our RAM. So we need to do a simple calculation. So we need a little bit of calculator help. So just go over here in the calculator. So just, just multiply your RAM. So here the RAM of my PC, sorry, which the laptop which I'm using is 32 GB. So just multiply or type your RAM over here. Then multiply with a constant value that is 1024. You just multiply with 1024. That brings you 32768. So multiply it with 1.5 because initial size is 1.5 times the total RAM. So just copy this, paste it over here. So maximum size is always this one. So maximum size is multiply 32 GB into 1024 and multiply it with 3. That brings you 98304. So just copy this, paste it as well. Go for OK and close everything. And most probably after a simple restart, try launching the game. That's gonna work for you as well. Next one is all about, we need to update the windows. For that, just go over here in the search, go for settings over here. Now from here, we just need to go to windows update. Make sure we need to, uh, if any kind of updates are pending like cumulative updates, KB updates are there, just update it everywhere. And once after done with this one, just restart your PC. And afterwards, try launching the game from Steam. That might work for you as well. Next one is all about we need to update the graphics card manually. So I'll be providing a link in the description to both NVIDIA as well as for the AMD. So the NVIDIA users, they just have to go to this respective link. They have to select everything like product type, product series, product operating system, etc. So over here, you have to select Windows 11, select every single thing over here and go for start search. So we'll be getting the latest released, uh, I mean, outdated patches over here. So if you find anything over here, the latest ones, so you need to make a few change over here, select everything over here and you have to start search for once again and make sure you're on giving all the details correctly so that you will be getting some outdated versions over here. So as you can see 536.23 which is released on June 14, 2023 is the latest version. So just download this one, install it on a PC and try launch the game. If you're on the AMD, just go to this one over here, programs, everything over here. You have to select, go for submit. And from here, we need to select if you're on Windows 11, select this one. If you're on 64-bit edition, if you're on Windows 10, if you're on 64-bit edition, select this one as well. Then install it on a PC. Restart is a mandatory and try launch the game. Even after trying this, still you are having the issue. You can try with installing the Microsoft Visual C++. So I'll be providing a link in the description to same. Just click on this one that will take you to this. So just download X64, which is most probably will be on this particular PC. So just download this particular version over here. I mean, this system type. So X64 can be downloaded and installed. Do a restart. It's a mandatory one. Once after that, try launch the game. And even after trying all these things and you're still having the issue, the last and the least one, is all about you can try with uninstalling the game and reinstalling it back for that just go over here right click and go to manage uninstall the game for reinstall it back what you need to do is just need to go over here in the file explorer 
go to this PC and make sure you, don't, you should not be installing back on the same local disk we already uninstalled. You can try with any of the local disk, D, E, F, etc, whatever it may be. Then most probably try launch the game. And these are the possible workarounds which can be done. When you're having an issue with Battle Bit Remaster crashing and all these kind of issues. And I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.